one of the most popular questions I ever get asked is, what's one of your proudest moments as a lawyer? And I have a lot of proud moments where I helped a lot of people, but I don't really talk about my first legal win nearly as much as I should, and it's probably the thing I'm proudest of. So when I was in law school, I was paralegaling as a clerk at a commercial firm, and I hated it. I was doing work that was not me. I was looking at laws that I didn't care about, helping clients that didn't matter to me, and I really just didn't enjoy the work. And while I was going through that process, learning stuff that really was irrelevant to me and didn't really connect with me, I decided I would do some volunteering and I volunteered at a center that helped people from a variety of communities, mostly non-English speaking, low income backgrounds. Now, I was given far less responsibility in this volunteer role. Like I was getting coffee and tea and just sitting in client meetings with the lawyers and listening in on cases, but I just found that it really agreed with me and I really was proud of the work I was doing and speaking on behalf of people and getting their stories. And so one day a client comes in and he's got a drink driving case. His drink driving is 0.05 so just into the low range. At the time though, this would have been critical for him because it would have meant he would lose his license and he'd be in a big pickle. And so, you know, when the solicitor advised him of that, he got so upset and stressed because the way he provided for his family was to drive. What made it worse is he was so naive. This poor guy was having tiramisu. And he just had so much tiramisu that there was alcohol in his breath. Like he didn't even drink. And that was what was gonna cause his whole life to fall apart. So, you know, everyone's kind of like resigned to, well, we'll plead it out, we'll do this and that. And as I'm reading all the paperwork, I see, oh, it seems like he's been tested outside of the testing window because there's a tight testing window you have to be tested in. And I went to the lawyer, look, I don't know if this means anything, but he was tested two hours and seven minutes. I thought the testing window was only two hours. And the lawyer goes, I think you're right, mate. Can you go and do some research for me? So when I researched it, yeah, it is. It's a strict thing. You must do it within this time frame. And for whatever reason they had. And so we ran that case and the guy was successfully acquitted at the Downing Centre in Sydney and he came and he, this big burly dude and he wrapped me in a big hug and he was like, thank you, my friend, thank you. And even seeing that image in my head a decade later makes me so happy. So yeah, that's one of the cases I'm the most proud of, helping a guy eat tiramisu, not lose his livelihood. And I guess I've been chasing that high ever since.